Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. Opera has released Opera Mobile for Android. Is it good enough for you to use it as your daily browser? Let's take a look. Now Opera has had Opera Mini for Android for a while now, but Opera Mobile is the fully fledged browser from Opera that includes some of the features of Opera Mini plus it adds a lot more that really makes the experience better. So let's take a look at Opera Mobile for Android. Now Windows Mobile users know Opera Mobile very well. It's been around on Windows Mobile since the days of the HTC Touch Diamond. Uh, it was a fantastic browser. It had great tab management. In later versions, we got the speed dial. And now it's on Android. So let's talk about how this interface is. So of course we have the speed dial, which is an awesome tool. It comes sort of from Google Chrome, where you can put your favorite websites here. So right when you launch the browser, you can jump into the sites that you want to see. So if we press plus on one of these, it shows us our recent history. So let's add Pocket Now. And it's actually going to try to pull a thumbnail from Pocket Now to kind of give you a nicer visual experience. And there it did that. Let's add another. We're going to add a regular Engadget. And it is pulling the information from there. And there we go. And what we can do is tap and hold on one of the speed dials to clear it off or to edit it. So let's go to a website and talk about browsing around on a page. Let's start off with Engadget. This is actually going to the mobile version of Engadget. I should mention that I have Opera Turbo turned on right now, which is uses, uses server-side rendering. We'll talk about that in a minute. So we should get faster page loads here. So here it comes, Launch, loading the full version of Engadget. Not super fast, but it's coming along quite nicely. We can browse the page while it's loading. And, and scrolling is pretty darn fast. We're getting a little bit of checkerboards, but in all fairness, the site hasn't finished loading yet. So it's coming up now. And let's move around on the page quickly. We do get a little bit of blank spots. The scrolling is fast once everything is cached and, and rendered. Uh, but in that first scroll, you get a little bit of checkerboards. We can also pinch to zoom here, uh, which works quite smoothly. We can zoom out. Another thing you can do to get closer is you can tap one time, which is kind of odd for a mobile browser. Usually it's a double tap to zoom in, but in this case, it is a single tap. So we can move around on the screen. We can do a lot of things with tabs. So I'm actually in the full screen view right now. So the tab interface isn't showing. But what I can do here is open up the tab interface, launch another site, go back into the tab interface, launch yet another site, you can see how this gets really fast with this great tab management in Opera Mobile for Android. So I'm just going to keep loading on websites here so you can get a sense for the performance that this browser brings when you're running lots of different web pages at one time. So we've got four open now. Let's make a fifth. OK, so now we have five tabs open. And you may have noticed I didn't wait for the other tabs to finish while I went to the next one. And let's see if they actually loaded. And it looks like they actually did. So this is a really cool way to flip between tabs. You can run out of space pretty quickly, though. So you may not want to uh, be running more than five tabs at a time. But the pages continued to load even as other tabs loaded, which was quite fantastic. Let's check out the full version of Gizmodo here, see if we have that same problem with the page uh, struggling a little bit to keep up. Now, of course, we have a landscape view. If I slide out the keyboard here, it uses the accelerometer, but I have that disabled on this particular device. We'll go back into portrait, let it finish loading. So here it is, Gizmodo, lo loaded quite fast. Again, we're using the Opera Turbo. Let's scroll down the page. So in this case, very smooth. Everything is there. Everything is loaded. And we can tap to zoom in, move around on the page. Very smooth panning and scrolling. Let's go to another uh, part of this website and see how fast that comes through. Whoa, what's that? That's already it. It's loaded. Using Opera Turbo, things are rendered on the server, Opera servers, and then they're beamed down to your device. The downside is there's some privacy concerns, right? Because if you're sending your information to Opera first and then down to you, they're probably uh, being able to track that information. Uh, but if you're doing just casual web browsing, it's a good idea to leave Opera Turbo turned on. So let's jump into the settings. And these settings may look very familiar to uh, Windows Mobile users. It's the same kind of thing. Let's go into settings. A few different things of note here. Load images is on. Opera Turbo is turned on. Opera Link is a feature we're not going to talk about here. Mobile View is turned off. Full screen. It's probably something you may want to keep off, actually, because it hides the tab feature unless you press uh, the Android button. You can choose text wrap and the zoom mode. And so now we have the non-full screen mode. So all the time, we have access to these handy shortcuts, and we can move between them. 
Although it's it's not the kind of interface where you can sort of swipe your finger and go to another one. It doesn't really work like that. It's more like tapping on another one so that the others move out of the way. And let's see how this handles a website like miniclips.com. It's actually a flash site that lets you play some uh, some games. So let's check that out. Okay, so we're done loading here. It was pretty fast there. So let's see what happens when you press play now. You probably know what's going to happen here. And you probably could have guessed what would happen. Nothing happened because it doesn't support Flash content here uh, in Opera. Opera Mobile. But of course you can use a stock Android browser with the Adobe Flash 10.1 plugin if you want to get some Flash content on your Android 2.2 device. So overall, a really fast browser that is plenty good enough for you to use as your daily driver. If you're looking for an alternative to the stock Android browser, it has great tab management. It is Opera Turbo to give you a little bit of a boost, especially when you're over a slower connection. And it has this really nice start page, just a really nice interface that people from Windows Mobile World may remember. Very, very highly recommended browser if you're looking for uh, another kind of browsing experience. Please thumbs up this video and check out pocketnow.com for more smartphone news and reviews. Thanks for watching and that's it for now.